What's up guys, Sophia here with another video and these clip-ins. If you remember my last video, I had like tried these clip-ins from Zuri Sis, but last time I had like some leave out out. And so this is like no leave out y'all. I know, right? Like a true protective style. None of my hair is out. And all of these is just one pack of clip-ins. And it is super easy for you to do, I promise you. If you want to know how to go ahead and get this style, then stay tuned for the tutorial. Okay, so I know my hair looks like a hot mess, but it's okay, we gonna, we gonna work it out. So, you know, shout out to all my 4B and 4C people. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just part my hair across. So once your hair is parted across, basically kind of from ear to ear, going right in front of the ear, you're just going to work with the top portion of the head. I'm going to do flat twist because it's much easier. So for now, um, I'm going to attach some braids here, but I don't feel like doing it right at this very moment. So I'm just gonna part off the section of where the braid is gonna go and just kind of, you know, twist it or whatever until I get to it. So for this section, you can be as creative as you want. <clears throat> you can con roll, you can twist, you can do whatever pattern suits your fancy. And I know y'all might feel some type of way because I'm not gonna do every single twist on camera. <laughs> because like I said, to me, it's just like do whatever you want. I'm just gonna probably just go, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna twist it and then it's just gonna, I'm probably just gonna come back and be like, see, this is what I decided to do. All right, so now that that's kind of said and done, I'm gonna get some braiding hair and just do these little braids here. Some people do like a feed-in braid. I am not an expert at that, so I'm gonna do a regular behind braid and it's gonna look fine. So now that I have these in, for this, we're just gonna make it real simple and just find a way to kind of slick down your hair. Like you don't need to to like con roll each and everything if you don't want to. I mean, if you want to, then more power to you. But I don't. This is much faster just to kind of braid it in two and then bobby pin it flat to your head. I have these Zuri Sis <laughs> um, clip-ins and um, you can remember them from my, li my last video when they were 100% new. They are not new now. I have washed them and I can have conditioned them so they look a little bit more taggered. Um, I don't mind them looking like this just because it looks just more realistic to me, like my hair type. So I'm starting with the three and this is one pack that I got. One pack comes with nine pieces and it is fully able to um, do over your entire head. And really you could just kind of, this one is another three. You could just kind of like put these in however because you don't have any leave out. And so really you just want it to cover all of it. So even like this three is not covering like all the way across. I'm just gonna get a two just to, so to make it reach to the other side. Okay, so even like where I'm clipping in this five one and it's too long, just come up here and um, and do something with it because you know we have this. We're gonna cover that up, but still we want it to look relatively full. So if it doesn't fit perfectly because you know nobody's gonna be up in your head like that, you could just fold them over. See, so like this one is kind of long, so we're just gonna twist it in such a way that it is working out for us. Okay, so now at this point where we have like these little thingies sticking out where they just look like uncovered, take the small clips and just kind of make them even. We're gonna cover all this anyway, but just so, I don't know, so that it looks better and so it's not like just some random behind clip just right, like right there. Try to at least make it kind of go across um, so that everything kind of stopped at the same point. Once that's kind of up and done, we're gonna settle the logistics of the back um, after everything is done, because I have used these before, so you'll notice like these frizzy situations. So I have gotten this braid, and I pretty much pre-did it already, and I just used the extra braiding hair from these two. 
And then I'm going to just put it across here and bobby pin it in place. And then you can always choose to spread it out just because my, my braid is small. But if you just want it to have a more butterfly effect, I like the butterfly effect, just pull on the ends of it. And then of course, when you are satisfied with how the braid looks, you're going to pin the rest of it into place because I just kind of anchored this on each side of my head and it's not really super in there. So now that I kind of got it where I want it, just make sure you pin it kind of over where your twists and the clip-ins join together. Now you want to get into the logistics of how everything looks. If you know your head does not look how it's supposed to look, then obviously, you know, you need to do something to it. Um, just make sure you trim the bottom or trim the little frizzies off. I don't like trimming it a whole, whole bunch just because, you know, you want to use the clip-ins again. So you don't want to be like, hey, I want to have an afro and then you trim it off and it's like two inches. That's crazy because then you can't really use them again. And so, and so just trim it enough where you just want to kind of trim the unusable parts of the clip-ins off. Well, I'm actually just going to use some of this 100% coconut oil hydrating curl cream. It says it eliminates frizz, tangles, defined curls. I don't know how this is going to go because I got this in one of my subscription boxes. So, you know, this could be something that is not going to do anything, but it smells good. <laughs> Okay, so I went ahead and finished up everything off camera, which wasn't much. It was like putting these things on, kind of calming down my edges. So that is about it. It's super easy and it is a full protective style in every sense of the word, word that you have no leave out whatsoever. Like literally all this is not your hair. All right guys, that is about it. So if you wanna stay updated on all my videos, go ahead and give me a follow or subscribe. And I will see you guys another day, another time. Bye y'all.